Hello everyone, it's your cartoon host for Christmas on the parking lot, here with another announcement about our upcoming winter event. The thing is, um, I actually don't know what the announcement is, so I'm waiting for a friend of mine to show up. Eventually. Any time now. This is the longest five seconds of my life. Oh, oh, there he is. Finally. Pastor Mike, it's so good to see you. Welcome to our winter wonderland. Hello there, Mr. Cartoon Guy. You can just call me Guy. Okay, Guy. Thanks for being our spokesman for Christmas on the parking lot. I think a lot of people have enjoyed your witty banter and the ability to make things pop randomly onto the screen. It is a gift. Here, have a gallon of coffee. Thanks, but I want to get to our announcement first. Sure thing. I'll save this for later. Unfortunately, this is not the easiest of announcements. Oh no, did the fake ice skating rink melt? No, I don't think that's really possible. Don't tell me all the food trucks blew up. What in the world? No, not even close. Then it's true. The church has been plunged underwater and is now inhabited by seahorses that shoot lasers from their eyes. Um, Guy, can you settle down a little bit? And uh, do you mind kind of resetting our environment, please? Sorry, I got a little out of control there. So, what's the announcement? Well, unfortunately, because of the executive order that came down recently, we're going to have to cancel Christmas on the parking lot. Whoa, that is rough. Yes, it is disappointing. The good news is that our God is faithful. He loves us greatly, and even in these crazy circumstances, we know that His ways are greater than ours, and we can trust Him. That is a great perspective. So, are there any plans to do something similar to Christmas in the parking lot in the future? Yes, sir. While we may not be able to have Christmas on the parking lot, we have several things lined up for the rest of this year and even into next year. We have a special Christmas Eve service that we are putting together now that will be a blessing for you and your family. And then next year, we're looking to have some great family fun events that will be here at the church similar to Christmas on the parking lot. So stay tuned for those. Maybe you could even do the announcements for them. What do you think? Of course I can. I mean, I am a digitally created artistic expression of a person who has no form or function outside of what you command me to do on your PC. So I'll be happy to help. Okay, yeah. Maybe we'll work that out. Sure. Um, you know, I do have to go. Would it be possible to get one of those laser-powered seahorse things to fly off in? No problem at all. Enjoy. Well, everyone, we know there is a lot of disappointment over the canceling of Christmas on the parking lot. But in the midst of all the change and frustration of 2020, let us remember what our God has done for us. In Psalm 103, King David writes, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. We may not be able to have a food truck or skating rinks on December 5th, but the love of God, forgiveness of sins, and the promise of eternal life will never be taken from those who are in Christ. This Christmas, let us rejoice in these things above and beyond anything else. Then, we can look forward to next year's event, where I'm hoping I can talk them into letting us bungee jump from the light poles. We'll see. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>